black cats. For centuries, these creatures have been associated with Halloween and spooky superstition in general. Some see the black cat as a bringer of good fortune, but most see them as harbingers of evil. Where did this all come from? Why do black cats have this reputation even today? Join me as I examine the history of black cats and Halloween. Like many Halloween traditions and beliefs, we start by looking at Celtic mythology. This brings us to a creature named Catsith, or Catsea in the Irish dialect. There are different versions of this myth throughout Scottish folklore, but every version involves a black cat with a white spot on its chest. One version says that Catsith is a fairy who is shaped like a black cat, and that it roams the Scottish Highlands in search of souls to steal. The Catsith would do this by walking over a recently deceased person before they were properly buried, as the burial was believed to be the ceremony that transferred the person's soul to the afterlife. To ward off the Catsith, Celtic priests would use various methods to keep it distracted rather than try to attack it. These included entertaining the cat sith with music, games, and as cliche as it may sound, they even used catnip. Other versions of the legend say the cat sith was actually a witch in disguise and that she could transform herself into a black cat up to nine times throughout her life. If she chose to transform a ninth time, she would stay in her cat form permanently until her death. This version likely gave rise to the old saying of cats having nine lives. There's an even more direct connection between the cat sith and Halloween besides the soul-stealing fairy or witch. It was believed that during the festival of Samhain, the cat sith would visit homes throughout the land. The homes that left a saucer of milk out as an offering would be blessed by the cat sith with good fortune for the coming winter. The homes that left no offering, however, would be cursed with all their cow's udders drying up, depriving the home of any milk unless they could find new cattle. So as you just heard, beliefs around black cats were never all bad, but they have been rooted in the supernatural and different cultures have had beliefs about black cats and cats as a whole. As some of you may know, the ancient Egyptians believed that cats were the guardians of the underworld world, that they protected the living from diseases and curses brought on by spirits who were trying to escape. This concept was demonstrated in the 1999 film The Mummy, in which the undead Imhotep was scared away by a cat not once, but twice. Look at I got! <gasps> In Welsh mythology, a black cat had the power to bless a home with good health, and in Japanese folklore, a black cat arriving at your home signified good luck and prosperity. But during the Middle Ages in Europe, more negative associations rose for black cats. When much of Europe believed that witches were among them, they also believed that black cats were either witch familiars or witches in disguise. For those who don't know, a familiar is a term used in European folklore. It's defined as any creature that assists witches or demons in their evil practices. This negative belief tying black cats to witches was carried over by Puritan settlers in the American colonies who engaged in the Salem witch hunts over 300 years ago. Now cats are by nature nocturnal creatures and their eyes tend to have a slight glow to them to see in the dark. The glow is even more pronounced if a source of light is shown on them. So to Europeans in the Middle Ages, these black-furred animals walking the streets and on rooftops with eyes glowing through the darkness meant that they were supernatural evil beings lurking in the shadows looking to cause trouble. Now if you've ever wondered where the black cat crossing your path superstition came from, that can be traced back to medieval Germany. There, many believed that if a black cat crossed your path, it was a sign that bad luck was coming. However, in the original superstition, this only applied if a cat crossed your path from right to left. If it crossed your path from left to right, it was actually a sign of good fortune to come. Many other positive beliefs about black cats came about in other parts of the world. From a black cat being kept in a wife's home to mean their husband would safely return from a sea voyage, to black cats playing an important role in seeking treasure in southern Chile. Unfortunately, in modern times, many of the negative beliefs of black cats have persisted to the point where many shelters would refuse to let anyone adopt black cats in October. They often do this over fear that someone looking to adopt them was looking to use them as living Halloween decorations and then return them to shelters or abandon them after Halloween, or even worse than that, sacrifice them in some form of satanic ritual. Fortunately, there is also a growing community of people, especially Halloween fans, who are promoting appreciation for black cats. More people adopting them, photographing them, even wearing black cat costumes on Halloween. In fact, a man named Wayne H. Morris created Black Cat Appreciation Day, which is why this video is published today, August 17th. This day was created and is celebrated with the intent to dispel all the negative superstitions surrounding these animals and instead promote the positive ones. So now that you know the history of their connection to Halloween, don't hate them for it, love them. That's right, love me, because today is my day. Appreciate me with lots of fish and milk. Oh, and if you liked this educational video, be sure to watch these other Halloween history videos, such as the origins of trick-or-treating and carving jack-o'-lanterns. Remember to live Halloween, and happy Black Cat Appreciation Day!